What it do YouTube, my name is Bear Witness and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Now I know you guys have seen the title and now you're wondering, how can you say this? How could Black Ops 4 be the end of Call of Duty? And I want to explain this in a little bit of a better sense. Now, when it comes to video games, there is a, a, a way about doing them. With games like Overwatch, with games like Rainbow, those games will probably, and it's a small chance if they do, but will probably never see a sequel. And it's because those games do a lot of different things. One, you pay for these games, and then as you play these games, they get these yearly updates. And with yearly updates, they get, uh, or they have these seasons. And they release characters, and they do all this stuff, like Rainbow Six, it'll, it releases characters throughout, and it, you know, you're able to do a lot of different things with all these characters, and they have their different abilities. Now, Treyarch is what I believe following this model. They are going after a, not unnecessarily, they're hitting us with everything we want, but they're also adding longevity to the game. I cannot imagine a world where Infinity Ward or Sledgehammer providing their most previous like Call of Duty titles would be able to show up like Treyarch can with this situation. Now David Hunt Bonderhart says some very head-ass things. He's probably the most head-ass person I could probably think of in my brain. But he went on and he, uh, as a representation of Treyarch, decided to say this. Whether you're surviving the circle in quads and blackout, fighting to take over control points in multiplayer, or defeating an endless horde of zombies, we want to hear about your experience. This is because they want to follow up what Treyarch did. As controversial as that game may be, it had the most updates, it had the most events, and it, it completely reinvented itself based on community feedback. Now that might sound terrible to some people, it kind of sounds terrible to me in some ways because I feel like when the community kind of decides decisions, the community no matter how old, how mature, or whatever your player base is, they are like children when it comes to video games. If something sucks, they immediately complain and gripe about it, they get it changed, and then they're like, wow. Now this sucks more than what previously sucked. There's never really a happy medium when it comes to gamers. I'm As a gamer myself, I find that supremely true. Case and point, oh my god, Call of Duty is so stale. About when Ghost came out, people would say, Call of Duty is so stale. You know, we want something new. We want you guys to not bring us the same game every time. They add jump boosters, loot crates, and everybody's like okay this is this is okay by the end of advanced warfare nobody wanted to see a jump booster again and then we got three more call of duties with it because they were already working on it so that's the problem now the issue with that is that you kind of get into this situation whereas yes we're leading back to it the fortnite situation where when a when a community complains about one thing and it gets changed it kind of ruins it for other players that didn't mind it so you can't really make big changes when it comes to like weapons and stuff like that but bar all of that we'll put all that to the side weapon changes and nerfs are bound to happen there's nothing we can do to stop them they can practically come at will they're even expected like the weapons that we used inside of the beta will probably not be as good as the weapons that are in the game now based on the fact of they have probably changed some things they probably flipped some things they probably turned down some damage sliders whatever they could possibly do they've probably done that based on the fact of community feedback now that's like i said the community is going to be the community and me talking about it's not going to fix it all i can say guys is we have to really focus on becoming together as a community in order to make this one of the best games possible. The reason why I'm saying it's the end is because David Vonderhart and Treyarch also went on to say that there is a lot of things that they will be bringing in the game. Constant blackout updates, map updates, weapon updates, rules updates, which means when I say rules updates, I want you guys to know I mean like the other day they made a change to the revive time it was three seconds when it was in and it was brought down to 1.5 with the medic perk on now it is five seconds and it's brought up to 2.5 
with the medic on so they've made slight changes to that so that's going to happen like i said it's battle royale a lot of things need to be uh suggested so everybody has an equal chance of winning the game that's fair they also made slight uh armor changes you know i um but aside from that that's just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to blackout they have new specialists with the earliest new specialist coming into the game at the uh at in december now here's the issue with this this one's slightly worrying because i'm not sure that you get it one if I, i'm gonna go ahead and buy the black house pass now i'm trying to figure out is it going to be free for everybody like the character the specialist or do, do the black ops pass owners get to have it for free what is up with that because it's technically a downloadable content but if treyarch if treyarch pulls some stupid stuff i'm gonna i'm gonna be pretty livid guys and you guys are definitely gonna get a video on that but in general that's something that we as a people as a community should look at because if you know if it's not at least purchasable without the black ops pass that sucks because i know that with the dlc content at least you can't purchase them separately you have to buy the black ops pass which is why everybody's in an uproar about it because it's like oh hey what if i wanted that dlc but i didn't want to buy all the other three so it gets frustrating but you have to think of it in treyarch's mindset oh hey you know we see a severe decline in people trying to buy our content late in the Call of Duty, so let's try to keep it alive. Now this seems like a bad idea, but the fact that they're trying to keep their game alive, I can very much see, based on the fact that it's Activision, that if this game does survive to a year two, then we will definitely have to buy another Black Ops Pass. I can see that already. I can, I, I, I smell it, guys. I, I, I don't know what to tell you on that. But they also have Nuketown coming to the game in November. So those are all plus, plus tons of events in the game. Kind of like, you know, how Fortnite's got its Halloween event going on right now. Tons of, tons of events. Kind of like back in World War II where they had an event for every major holiday plus some side events and stuff like that. Just to keep it light, keep it to have fun. You guys can bet your butt cheeks that you guys are definitely going to be having to open loot crates to get some of those weapons. I don't know if they'll bring back that system. I'm not really a fan of that system where you have to like buy the loot crates and you get these tokens and all this stuff and you have to use the scrap to make a weapon and all that stuff is stupid and i really hope that it's not in the game and they come up with a better reward system um for multiplayer but like i said all the sites are pretty much set on blackout now the other game modes are going to be fun probably going to be more fun competitively than they are in team deathmatch or just regular casuals i mean but definitely going to be something and i i'm i'm you know what guys at the end of the day i'm proud of treyarch i'm proud of the fact that they are going out of their way to still bring us something new even though it doesn't seem so new when you really think about how ranked is gonna play because i think that's what they're playing into it as they're playing it into it as more of a ranked type thing but they put in a lot of effort it doesn't seem like it when you play the beta, but when you really look at it and break it down to the many things that they're doing, the way they're trying to be more community driven, the way they're trying to make sure that this game has a long, long life. It's 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 almost it's almost awe inspiring considering they've come from a um because the other two games didn't do well. We all know Infinity Infinite Warfare was terrible. We all know that World War II was I'm going to use the word controversial. It wasn't my cup of tea. That's my opinion. But I know a lot of people that had a lot of fun with that game. But either way, it had it, it left Call of Duty in a state of, oh, hey, man, we got to do this or this could be the end of the franchise. And I can tell you guys right now that by the way this game looks, if it is the end of the franchise, I, I'm happy with it. I wish there was a campaign. But you know what? There is room for them to release that. Don't let them do that. Don't let them pull that wool over your eyes. They can release that later on in a DLC. I don't care if it's 20 gigabytes that I have to download onto the game. They can release that later. And that is something that we can push. All you guys griping about, oh, I wish there was campaign. Be up in their DMs. Be up in the Twitters. And on their Instagram. Everywhere you can find Treyarch. Find them. DM them get the campaign hashtag i want campaign in black ops 4 i'm ranting now so this is the end of the video guys if you guys enjoyed the video thank you guys
for enjoying it. Also, leave a like because I like those as well as if you guys are not part of the Bear Squad, make sure you guys go ahead and join up on the Bear Squad. Make sure you guys click that sub button, turn on the bell. As soon as I post a video, you'll get that nice little notification in your phone's drop bar, and you'll be you'll, you'll put a smile on your face. Just trust me, just trust me. But I will see you guys in the next one. You dig?